my little party animals. Hip Hip Renee here today with a brand new episode of So You Want to Be a Sims YouTuber? Today we are going to talk about the do's and don'ts of promoting your content. And again, because I hate long-winded intros, let's get right into it. Don't tag random people when promoting your content. Tagging random people or even just sim gurus in hopes that they'll watch or share your content really reminds me of door-to-door -door salesmen. You don't want to be rude, but you also don't want to buy a product from someone you don't know who randomly just stopped by your house. When posting your videos, only tag specific people, creators, or sim gurus if they've asked you to. Otherwise, just let them find your content organically. Do tag simmer communities that are made to share your content. There are tons of communities out there, especially on Twitter, that ask for people to either tag them or use specific hashtags made by the community in their posts. These groups are generally followed by other Sims content creators and people who enjoy the Sims in general, and it's a great way to promote your content in a way that's not only allowed, but encouraged. Examples of these groups include the Sims creators community, who use the hashtag show us your builds and show us your Sims, the Sims streamers and YouTubers who use hashtag SSY share, Sims Federation, Simmers Digest, the Plum Bob Academy, and even Sim Guru Nick says he enjoys being tagged in posts. Don't promote on other people's content. This one really can't be said enough. Unless a creator specifically states in their video that they want you to post your channel in the comments, do not ever comment on another creator's video just to link your own channel. Their content is not a resource for you to promote your own work, just as your videos are not a resource for other creators to post their work. This also goes for posting in Facebook groups, Reddit communities, and more. When someone else posts a video in one of these groups, it's their turn to shine. Don't try to piggyback off someone else's success for your own success. Do comment on other people's content. Comment on other Simmers' content. Did you enjoy their speed build? Let them know. Did you laugh out loud at their LP? You have to tell them. By leaving meaningful comments on other creators' videos, you are promoting yourself. You're promoting yourself as a supportive fellow creator who wants to see someone else have some sort of growth. And if you leave meaningful, substantial comments on other people's videos, they're more likely to click on your profile and check out your channel too. Don't sub for sub. Sub for sub is the act of you subscribing to someone else's channel with the understanding that they will also subscribe to your channel. You know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. But sub for sub can mean death for a channel. Are these people subscribing just because you subscribe to their channel? Or are they subscribing because they genuinely enjoy your content? In the long run, having less subscribers who genuinely enjoy and watch your content is going to do more for your channel than subscribers who don't actually enjoy or even watch your stuff. Do subscribe to creators you like and enjoy. Not doing sub for sub does not mean that you can't subscribe to someone's channel if they've subscribed to you. You want to subscribe to fellow creators whose content you truly enjoy and want to watch. If you find someone's channel through means like them subscribing to you or a comment on your channel, and you really truly like their content, subscribe to them. Supporting fellow creators means subscribing and enjoying their channel, not just subscribing. Don't link drop. This again goes for all sorts of places, Twitter, Reddit, and especially Facebook. Link dropping is the act of posting just a link to your recent video with no other information attached. If you're looking to share a new video you've created, don't just join these groups to post a link and run. And in fact, Facebook groups like The Sim Streamers and YouTubers and Honest YouTube Promotion don't even allow you to just post a link. It's okay to post a link to your content in various groups, but spend some time creating a short description specifically made for promoting. Do write up a short description when promoting. Instead of just posting a link to your content, write up a short description of what your content is about as well as a question or a call to action. The question could be as simple as, who's your favorite townie on a townie makeover video? Or what's your favorite backyard item on a patio garden build? Invite your viewers to have a discussion with you regarding elements that are present in your video. People will be more likely to click on it. Don't stick to a single type of social media. 
There are so many types of social media out there, and each type has a different demographic and purpose. Twitter is great for making connections and meeting new people. Facebook is hands down the best way to promote your videos and see results. Discord is fantastic for making those superficial connections you've made become a lot deeper and potentially turn into friendships. Each platform has its up and downs, and you may not be fond of some of them, but they all work together in harmony and they're important when starting your channel. Do test out the waters in social medias you don't often use. Not a fan of Facebook? That's okay. But according to my analytics, 60 to 70% of my external traffic comes from me sharing my videos in Facebook groups. There are many large simming communities on Facebook that all actively encourage you to share your builds, sims, funny stories, and videos. Many people disqualify Facebook because it's for old people or it's a dying platform. But if you branch out to these platforms you're not fond of, you might find creators that you wouldn't have met otherwise. Don't DM people to ask them to follow you. Don't slide into someone's DMs and ask them to follow you. This is extremely intrusive and actually accomplishes the opposite of what you're intending. Unless you've been asked, it's general etiquette to stay out of someone's DMs. Especially if you don't want to actually talk to them, you're just hoping they'll visit your channel. Do network and make friends. Networking and making friends in the simming community is my favorite part of being a creator. I have met so many incredibly talented and friendly people that I would not have met otherwise if I didn't join this community. If you make real connections with real people, you will see growth in your channel. I personally share a lot of my friends' content, whether it be recommending them on who's your favorite YouTuber posts on Facebook, by retweeting them on Twitter, or voting or nominating them for the many simmer features held by different groups. Your friends will get you further than that one random creator you tried to tag in your video. I really hope you guys enjoyed these do's and don'ts of promoting your channel. They were definitely a little bit more general, so I think that this video could potentially be helpful for many different types of creators. If you guys feel that maybe I made a mistake, something I said was wrong, or you have your own suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up down below and make sure you have hit that subscribe button and turn on that little bell so you get notifications so you don't miss a single video. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.